A crucial thing to sort of talk about with, with images uh, is the fact that you can actually now link images to your document rather than having them embedded. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Now at the moment, uh, I mean, we, we're certainly going to be changing some of this behaviour, but at the moment by default when you place an image in your document that will actually be embedded in the document. So that means that if, if you like the size of that image file, which of course might be, um, you know, 50 meg or whatever, um, is actually increasing the file size of your, of your document because it's embedded in. Alternatively, you can actually link uh, to, uh, to images too. So if you go to the document menu at the top, you see this option called Resource Manager. So I'll just open that. And you can see that this basically gives you the list of all of the images that are currently in your document. And you can see here whether or not they're currently embedded or whether they're linked. Um, and after you've placed any images, they are embedded at the moment, but you can just make them linked simply by uh, clicking the Make Linked button here. So I can actually choose to make all of these uh, images that I've just placed linked. And now they're actually linked to uh, the, uh, the, 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 the folder that I originally placed them from. And in fact, if I click on any of these images, you can see that it's got the path of where that image Images. So of course this keeps your document uh, file size down uh, to a minimum. It also means uh, potentially if you want, should, you, should an image be updated, uh, you'll be able to then automatically um, update that image uh, in, in, in the document too.